Hey there, and welcome to an episode of Feeling Depressed. I'm your host, Chris. So this is going to be about as real as it gets right now, uh, and, and I just want to be really open about uh, everything that's going on with me right now. Because I feel like, I feel like I tend to post a lot of videos where it seems like I'm trying to press on some like knowledge that I have, but maybe it's legitimate, but a lot of times I just feel um, everything I do is so fake or, or just stupid or wrong and, and I hate it when I'm done. And because of that, it takes a long time for me to post a video after I make it. Um, the last three videos... I posted were probably made like a month or two before they actually went up maybe even um, maybe even longer than that honestly and honestly it's just I, I've been going through um, some really rough stuff some really rough stuff um, and it's just a combination of um, some bad luck lately along with just my depression really for whatever reason coming out of the woodwork and I think the um I think the big problem I am facing right now is that for years I've thought I've had a much better handle on it than I now feel like I have um which has been really jarring um, because I'm definitely going through the most depressive episode right now than I've had in several years. And it's affecting a lot of things right now. Um, my physical health, probably uh, number one in that. Um, I've really lost a lot of sight and motivation for, um, for getting in better shape. Um, and I've been binge eating a lot. I mean a lot. Um, and binge drinking. Which are definitely my big vices. They're, they're my biggest unhealthy coping mechanisms. And um, I've been trying to take steps to fix that. And sometimes I just feel 100% lost. Or, or I feel really helpless in that regard. Like, like it doesn't matter. Like, I'm not going to get there. So what I do doesn't matter. And, and that triggers me to binge eat or drink or whatever. Um... And I know that's not true. I know that everything I do does matter. I know that I matter. But it's just those intrusive thoughts telling me otherwise, you know? To an extent, it's affected relationships a little bit. Not that much, honestly. It's just, like, my best friend Joseph is, is definitely pointed out, like, hey, I feel like we're not talking as much. And I'm like, yeah. And then I acknowledge that and explain what's going on. And I know I've been really snippy with with Rochelle in the last couple of weeks. I've just been like, I've been on edge. I've been so stressed. I feel stressed all the time. And I, um, lately I've been feeling on the edge of, of a panic attack all the time, all the time. Even, even just like going to bed at night, several nights in the last couple of weeks, I remember sitting in bed and I can read or, or watch a podcast or play a game or something. Um, and just telling Rochelle, I feel like I'm about to have a panic attack, and there's no, and there's no reason that that there's no there's no obvious reason that it's happening other than it's just happening. So this is really raw and personal and and uncomfortable, and probably uncomfortable to watch. So why am I doing this? Why am I putting this out there? Um, it's it's partly therapy for me just to get it out and, and uh, to say something. And also, like I said in, in many other videos, like the original intention of what I'm doing is just to put out my struggles and accomplishments so that other people going through similar things have someone that they can relate to or, or, or commiserate with, even um, if that's the right word. I don't know. I'm just in a fog right now, guys. I really am. So I'm hoping to just start posting less 
videos that I'm, I feel like I'm prepping for and trying to share knowledge or something and instead just focusing more on those raw things, the stuff that I actually originally wanted for. And, and I feel like, feel like watching other YouTubers or watching other channels, I set like this expectation of what I want to be or what I'm trying to do. And, and later on, I just feel like it's all bullshit, you know, even though it's not, I mean, the stuff I put out there is like, yeah, I, I, for the most part, know what I'm talking about or, or, um, can share some experience or lesson that I've learned. Um, but I struggle with, um, just feeling like everything I do is a fluke or fake or something like that. And, um, we'll talk more about that either in another video or in the, um, podcast Rochelle and I have, which is anxiously ever after, um, my imposter syndrome. Um, which I feel like a lot of, I don't want to call myself creative type, but I mean, that's what I do. I create stuff. I feel like a lot of creative types get that way. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, so anyway, um, there's, there's that, there's the, the raw, um, part of my life right now is just, I, I feel like garbage pretty much all the time right now. <laughs> um, I haven't been exercising I've been treating my body horribly. I'm mentally not in a great place. Um, I feel under a lot of pressure. So next steps, what is that? Trying to get a handle on the mental things, the things I'm avoiding that are causing me to binge eat and binge drink. Um, I think that's going to be key to curbing some of the stress and anxiety and depression that I'm feeling. Is it going to cure it? Nope. Nope. Um, I don't think there ever really is a cure to that kind of stuff, but it can be relieved for sure. Um, then I've done it before and I know I can do it again. So that's where I start. All right. So, um, like I said, hopefully more videos, more often, shorter, raw, honest, no gimmick, no bullshit. I'll see you later.